Every time they say, every time you, they come over there, they say it's a civil thing. At least they want you to get a lawyer. So lo yes. lawyers made it intentionally that way. Okay. So situations would be prop uh, perpetuated so I'm they not, would make I'm money. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing. Wow. So. So what? So. You look at the Yelp reviews there, the negative one, you see so much suffering goes on because police policy is to let it go on, even encourage it so the lawyers would get rich. The police, we pay, we train, we put uniform on you, your badge, we trust you with that. And if it wasn't for you, I would have a job now, I would, my girlfriend wouldn't have left. Me? Yes, uh, me talking, uh, regarding the people in uniform, which I have respect for. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Who makes the policies here? Politicians who are lawyers who want to profit from so, scams and abuse so, and, and so the problem, lawsuits abuse. So if that's, if that's what you say, then is it, is it the police the problem or is it the politicians and the policy, the policy makers the problem? They go, they work together. No, no, the police have to follow the policies and laws that are created by the policy makers, correct? Yeah. So, who, where's the problem? You, I tell you, do you know about the Milgram experiment? Who? Milgram experiment, it's the most basic, fundamental experiment in psychology. Is he? Listen, it's listen. No, I'm not. Because that's a solution. I, no, well, it's not a solution from my end because, because I can't do anything about it. You can. Be, I'll tell you exactly. The, can I give you the answer for that? That's what I'm telling you. You can try, yeah. The Milcom experiment, they brought in people. They said, press this button. A guy on the other side is getting an electric shock be, uh, because they got the wrong answer. They give the shock so much, they think the other guy yells and they think they died. They said, why did you push that button? He says, because I was told. So you guys coming here and perpetuating all that abuse, because we... So your suggestion is to shut down the police department? If you can acknowledge, no. I respect that uniform. I want to restore honor and dignity to see, it. If there's a flaw... Do you in want the, to restore honor and dignity to it, sir? No. I can't suggest how because I'm not allowed to talk politics. Exactly. I'm not allowed to talk politics. You're not allowed to, and the officer, uh, Potts, Michael Potts at the West Valley Police Station said, I'm not allowed to tell you if I think it's immoral or moral what we're doing. Who made that policy? All of these policies that you have, when you come and say, I know nothing about it, that Officer Johnson repeats that 10 times. Well, sir. I gotta get back to doing some To other keep on doing the same as you've always been done. So you Until someone changes the policy. And then, the, and then uh, how would that come about? By the policy leaders. It's by No the, no, they profit from it, they wanna by, keep on doing the, it. The, the victim the, like by, me by the people that place the policy leaders in positions. So of power. the constitution says I you are a citizen of the United States also, even I, though I you wear a uniform. But I don't vote here. So you know it's wrong and you want to keep on doing it. I didn't say I know it's wrong. You wouldn't because you would want to cover it up. No, I don't. Which is what no. police officers do. No, we didn't. We didn't. Or you we want to get know. Officer Sergeant Lafferty come here and scold me I'm, to I'm, discourage I'm you. I'm not going to scold you. No one else is going to scold you. They did. The problem is, is that you want to you want to think one way and this is how it actually is. Uh huh. And then in order to change how it actually is, is the people that are unhappy with the way it is. So I Which can't is me. Then do something about it on your own. This is what I'm doing. No, you're in the wrong place to do it because all you're doing is you're talking to the people that are following the policies, not the ones creating them. That's the Milcom experiment. I, I hurt that person because I was told no, to. No, it's not the Milcom experiment. You're responsible for It's not the Milcom experiment. It's not the Milcom experiment because the person in this situation that is having to enforce the laws are the laws that are created by someone else. That's exactly no, the problem. Someone else told me to do it. You're crossing ideas. No. If you want something different, change the way how, how you're. That's what I'm doing. No, no, and then you're in the that's, wrong spot no. to do it. 
because you're in the lower. You you're can the acknowledge lower. that you're a human yeah. being. You're doing wrong. You fist fight, shoot, and do it. Not say I'm made to do. Someone made me do it. And how would that help you? If you were to acknowledge. And how would that help you? You don't know. No, I'm asking you to answer the question. It would. It how? would. It would to have a person in how you. Would I'm that telling help you. you. How would you that let, help you? Would you allow me to tell me, you? I'm waiting. So would you not interrupt me when I'm telling you? Because I'm telling you, you keep saying, how would you tell me? Can you be silent and let me tell, tell you? You have a uniform on. You have a, a gun. You could make the judgment to shoot me right now if you did. You could make the judgment to arrest me right now. You have a heart and the policy has, has insulated that heart, so you, all the times you blocked the communication of truth to you. You have, you're a human being inside, you do have a heart, even though you have police uniform. And the people that go on and shoot a kid, because they say, I saw he had a Skittles on that looked like a gun. You have a heart, and you need to have a heart when you have power of license to use deadly force and you have license to arrest somebody, and then you need to have, you need to uncover the policies. All the time you say, I can't do that, I can't do that. You actually can't. You're not allowed to. But you, what you think in your head is a freedom they can't take away from you. Even though they put all the restrictions, all the, all the things you said you can't do. In your heart, you can make a decision. I listen to Zeke. And then I know I'm doing wrong. I have a conscience. I, how, how is that going to help you if I do something wrong? I have an answer. You, you can claim your whistleblower protection See, rights. I, claim your whistleblower status protection rights. Report publicly all the people you have done this to, all the methods you have used, all on national TV. In Jesus' name, amen. Just let me stick to somebody here. You can't stick that on the wall, sir. You can't. You can't look in the background of what that squad was doing, all the people she's done this to. You can't tell me if it's something you do with it. She was in my house, she was drug dealing, prostituting. You guys, this is, this is, this is, listen, listen, just one more thing, watch this. This was at my mom's house. I'm not gonna watch anything else. I'm not watching anything. I'm done. Because we're getting close to the answer. It's rambling, right? You gotta tell me I want medicine. That's what they do. Because it's something you want to avoid. You don't want to listen to me and you're starting to go off on trails. You do have control of what you can. You can be a human being. You have a restraining order against her. And she keeps threatening her. Restraining order means you get us help when we threatening us. We're here because she's threatening us. Our lives are in danger, and we have this training order against her. Are you hearing this? That's why we're here, taking refuge. We have this training order against us.